Welcome aboard the safest airline in Africa. With industry leading safety measures to protect your well being. The first in Africa to earn a diamond standard of safety. Offering a more contactless, safe, and seamless experience. Delivered with a smile by Africa's first fully vaccinated crew. Creating special memories that bring the joy back to flying so you can continue making memories with your loved ones. Book your flight with Randair today. Randair, the safest airline in Africa. Randair, fly the dream of Africa. Hello, hello. May I invite the audience here back to the room? We have we are going into the second panel discussion on systems change with the experts. Um, may I invite the audience back into the room? We will break for lunch straight um, after the second uh, panel discussion. Um, the second panel discussion is on systems change and uh, um, may I take the opportunity to apologize to the online audience that uh, the questions or comments were sent to the general um, inbox um, so we missed it. I kindly request that you send them to the tab of question and uh, answer. Send it to the tab of question and answer so that we can rip it off and, uh, and, uh, and use your comments or questions accordingly. Um, the next keynote presenter is uh, Sazini Mojapelo who is here. Sazini Mojapelo is from South Africa. She is chairperson of Shift Impact Africa and the Shared Value Africa Initiative, SVAI. Her expertise lies in the development and execution of strategic plans linked to social and business impact, creating shared value, ESG, social economic development, enterpri enterprise development, and poverty alleviation programs. She is going to present for us the keynote address, which will be discussed by panelists who are virtual. Um, for now, allow me invite Sazini. Please put your hands together and welcome her. Give her some energy. Sazini, you're most welcome uh, to take your seat. On the panel, we will have from Zimbabwe, um, Z Simbarashe Muhiriro um, is he online, technical team, ensure that he is online. He is general manager with Rio Energy and Rio Zim Limited. He is an independent non-executive director of the Stanbic Bank Zimbabwe Limited. He is also an independent non-executive director of Petrotrade Limited under the Ministry of Energy and Power Development in Zimbabwe. He is a member of the Board of Directors for the Institute of Directors Zimbabwe. Mhiriro, are you online? Thank you very much for having me and yes, I'm online. Good, good to have you, good to have you. Um, next, from Ghana, we have Afetsi Aounor. Afetsi is the regional head of sales and marketing for Sub-Saharan Africa at Convenio Energy South Africa. He's also the founder and current board chairman of JBW Limited, a multi-industry support services firm focused on the energy defense and immigration sectors operating out of Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Uganda. Ladies and gentlemen, warmly, kindly welcome Afetsi all the way from Ghana. Afetsi, are you already online? I'm here. Thank you for having me. 
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, now it is my honor to invite our keynote presenter, Sazini, to come and make a 20-minute keynote presentation, and thereafter we will have the panel discussion as well as the audience contributions. You're most welcome. Uh, good, good morning and good afternoon. I think uh, 20 minutes is generous. I am standing. Please give me first. Thank you. I am standing between you and your lunch. So I will not take 20 minutes, but rather. Um, engage in a more robust discussion with my fellow panelists. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge and thank Dr. Emmanuel and his team for inviting the Shared Value Initiative to be part of this summit. We regard this collaboration as pinnacle to the work that is needed on the continent. It is an honor and indeed a privilege to be speaking to you today. My task is a simple one. Today's discussion will center on the need to shift our world systems to one that is more conscious and ethical, underpinned by the need for companies, small, medium, and large, to create shared value. We are living in unprecedented times, as you've already heard the other speakers say, where the world has substantially changed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As you can see, before I speak, we've had to sanitize. However, the recently launched UN SDG Goals Report for 2021 highlights the toll that the COVID-19 pandemic has taken on the 2030 Agenda and indeed our 2063 Agenda. In addition to over 4 million deaths due to the coronavirus, approximately 124 million people were pushed back into extreme poverty for the first time since 1998, while globally the equivalent of 255 million full-time jobs were lost. While the pandemic has slowed and we're able to meet physically and in a hybrid setting, it has indeed reversed years or even decades of developmental progress. Yet, it also has provided a catalyst for significant improvement, affording us the opportunity to build back better. With most companies, the continent embracing the principles of creating shared value, as we have seen. The shared value business model is in its 10th year, as you heard uh, our CEO and founder Tiki mention. With more and more companies, as we've seen particularly on the continent, embracing its principles and modeling their businesses to deliver profit with a purpose. The main goal of creating shared value is to benefit greater society, for companies to benefit greater society. Growing economies, marketplaces, and communities in the mutual long-term interest for all. And in particular, working in underdeveloped regions is a clear indication by businesses that they are committed to nurturing new economic opportunities for local economic development. Small businesses, medium and large, can develop and refine on the ground market-based solutions to help meet some of the challenges faced in our local communities. And as we've heard from our previous speakers, a big focus for our continent and in, indeed local economic development is innovation. With some of the building blocks in place to deliver shared value across the continent, the SVAI is well positioned to drive multi-stakeholder partnerships acting not only as an enabler, but a convener linking role players, ideas, and resources to tackle Africa's challenges and use our influence on policy and policymakers in a responsible, transparent, and accountable manner. This we obviously do through collaborations such as this one with the HCI. I believe one of our speakers, Juliet, mentioned the important advocacy role that companies and organizations like ours play in creating the right shifts in their economies. 
Tapping into local knowledge and expertise like we're doing today, cultural perspectives, and ideas outside a company can reach shared value. You spoke earlier about what is the box. I think important is to teach our children to print outside the box. Creating shared value is about leveraging the best expertise, creating a broader positive impact and value that one actor alone could not achieve. Local and international partners, NGOs, cooperatives, big and small businesses, all working together directly results in broader positive impacts with social, environmental, and economic benefits. Now let's turn our attention to the need to shift the economic systems. What are we discussing today? When talking about the need for systems change, I will refer to the capitalist system. To be frank, it has both positives and negatives. One has to acknowledge standing here today that it has worked to drive economic growth and create stable market systems. Its power to positively change lives is unparalleled. We have seen amazing innovation, the fourth industrial revolution, all as a result of the, the capitalist system. But, and I will say but again, the flip side is the actual misuse of the capitalist power which has led to greed, corruption, injustice, misconduct, and worse still, exclusion, leaving a majority of the vulnerable populations behind, hardest hit being Africa with a widening inequality gap. Recently, under greater scrutiny, globally, free market capitalism is under fire, given the abuse it has suffered in the hands of a leadership, our current, previous, that governs focus only on shareholder value, personal gain, and only financial performance to the exclusion of uplifting people and planet. This model, yes, becomes deeply flawed, and we have experienced economic, environmental, and social injustice at the hands of a capitalist system. Almost 21 million people are victims of forced labor, of which more than half are women and girls. Gender inequality remains a challenge, giving rise to social ills against women and girls. An opportunity exists to shift the burden of capitalism by looking at the SDGs. Looking at the SDGs as an opportunity for economic growth and not just social development. We have seen some global leaders such as Paul Pullman, and I'm sure most of us know him, shifting business models such as Unilever based on the concept of shared value. And there we can say it is conscious capitalism or stakeholder capitalism, a broader framework, a systems approach that looks beyond financial performance. This is a notion that business is about a higher purpose. And by putting the social agenda as part of your business agenda, there is a holistic system leading cre value creation. It is about win-win solutions that create shared value between business and society. At the Shared Value Initiative, we have developed the Purpose Playbook, which we deliver to small, medium, and large companies to understand how to develop and implement shared value principles that enable them to become purpose-driven companies. Important to note is that it can be a game changer for the way we do business and indeed the way entrepreneurs start, run, and grow their businesses. So what is creating shared value? Creating shared value can be seen as a simple concept. It is anchored on the belief that your business can do well by doing good. Simple. That's creating lucrative new opportunities and distinct competitive advantage. Simply put, Porter and Kramer from the Harvard Business School advocate for the fact that creating shared value holds the key to unlocking innovative solutions to the world's global challenges. Pair this model with tackling the sustainable development goals. The opportunity presented is a competitive advantage. 
According to the Better Business, Better World Commission, there is approximately 12 trillion US dollars that can be unlocked through shifting four key dominant systems identified in the Sustainable Development Goals. These are innovating around food production. We spoke about agriculture being key earlier. The distribution of energy and materials. You'll hear from my colleagues who are in the energy and renewable sector. Growing cities and health. Growing cities and indeed health and well-being, as we've seen with the COVID-19 pandemic. They argue that by turning the traditional business models and systems upside down, there is an opportunity to to unlock incredible value in the economic ecosystem. The challenge faced is that business leaders still have the misconception that doing good means making less money and that there is always a trade-off between financial return and impact. This is certainly not the case. And we have seen shifts in the investment world in this regard. Companies that have made social impact agenda central to their strategies have seen greater reward in the form of investments and indeed sustainable growth. So one could argue that doing good and creating shared value is part of the operating model and indeed DNA of a new world system that can lead to conscious businesses regardless of size of the company. More than 380 million jobs could be created by the SDGs in the four systems as mentioned. Simply put, it is driving profit with a purpose, achieving system-wide impact. It is a way of thinking about business in a way that better reflects where we are in our human journey and the inherent potential of business to make a positive impact in society through playing a shaping role in society and reconceiving our products and services to ensure innovative solutions that not only grow companies but grows SMEs and society. A case in point, an example, is the multi-choice group. Their innovative approach to creating and distributing entertainment content across the African continent that is current culturally relevant, representative of our black nation, and locally produced enables them to strengthen the businesses that support the entertainment supply chain, which in turn grows local economies and provides sustainable employment opportunities through the SME sector. Most recently, we have seen Netflix do the same. Another example is PayPal's partnership with community banks and credit unions to distribute significant investment in black-owned, minority-owned businesses by giving lending to minority-owned financial institutions. This has increased their buying power and investment in their communities, all which invariably contribute to a thriving society and economy. The engine for this equitable distribution is the My Nation is your go-to website for exclusive content with in-depth stories, analysis and detailed coverage. Sign up with these quick and easy steps. Visit www.monitor.co.ug. Sign up for free for a limited period of time with either Facebook or Google. Or you can enter your email address, password, followed by your phone number. Click sign up. You are now a registered user. Your privacy will be protected when you share information with us. This registration is part of our effort to understand our audiences and make better business decisions to serve you better. For any queries, please contact us on 0312-301-230 or email us at customercareug at ug.nationmedia.com. Monitor. Powered by Nation. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome to Nobel. Internet is not only important, but is part of us now. We use it in our studies, at work, home, and while going about our daily errands. However, an inconsistent internet connection is common and can be frustrating. But the good news is, we are here to the rescue. At Rock Telecom, we strive to promote integrity, dependability, innovation, customer service, and open-mindedness. Visit our website www.rocktelcom.co.ug for more information. Rock Telcom, 
Rock Telecom is licensed by the Uganda Communications Commission. Welcome aboard the safest airline in Africa. With industry leading safety measures to protect your well being. The first in Africa to earn a diamond standard of safety. Offering a more contactless, safe, and seamless experience. Delivered with a smile by Africa's first fully vaccinated crew. Creating special memories that bring the joy back to flying so you can continue making memories with your loved ones. Book your flight with Randair today. Randair, the safest airline in Africa. Randair, fly the dream of Africa. So we pick travelers, our typical customers are people flying in and out of the country. So we pick those from the airport wherever they are going and back. And we do this through uh, a network of uh, driver partners uh, for whom we uh, give regular business and improve uh, livelihoods. They can book uh, through WhatsApp, they can call us, uh, they can email us. You know, we just try to make it as simple and convenient, as seamless as possible for our customers. What is creating shared value all about? CSV is short for creating shared value. It is a powerful business management concept that can promote companies to think differently about their approach to social and environmental issues. It is a strategy for addressing society's challenges through profitable business models. It's all about policies and practices that enhance the competitiveness of companies while improving social and environmental conditions in the regions in which they operate. CSV is not CSR. Creating shared value goes beyond philanthropy or corporate social responsibility.